couple of things seem to be pretty universal as we get older. Uh, one is inflammation and oxidative stress. What can we do on a practical level daily to unlock our key to longevity? We've been really focused on astaxanthin as a naturally occurring supplement that can help you safely address oxidative stress and inflammation at the source. The whole story of carotenoids and astaxanthin is really interesting. Carotenoids actually co-evolved with photosynthesis. You know, so they're a key component of photosynthesis and help to uh, protect plants from uh, photooxidative damage. So it played a fundamental role um, in, in evolution there. And in the marine environment, astaxanthin is produced by microalgae. And so these are green algae that, um, when stressed by the sunlight, produce astaxanthin as a defense mechanism and then turn bright red. So it, it plays this vital role in dealing with severe environmental stress. And then microalgae are then consumed up the, up the food chain. So into crustaceans, krill, crab, lobsters, shrimp, you know, up through salmon, other fish, whales, obviously a huge part of their diet is krill. So it's, it's been this um, really important nutrient throughout the marine environment. We think nature came up with astaxanthin as kind of the optimal uh, carotenoid and it's certainly been demonstrated throughout the natural environment and, and certainly with, with humans in, in the last 20 years. Let's talk about astaxanthin particularly and how it helps fight some of the key hallmarks of aging. And how is it different than other antioxidants? You're talking about vitamin C or vitamin E, or, so how does it yeah. compare? First of all, when you uh, ingest it orally, it's distributed systemically. And so the fact that astaxanthin gets to your cells, but actually gets into the membrane of the cells, the fact that it stands and stabilizes the membranes, distinguishes it from other uh, antioxidants, and that it gets to not only the, say, the plasma or outer membrane of the cell, but gets to the mitochondrial membranes. And so getting to those privileged uh, locations uh, is something that not every antioxidant does. Tell us about some of the health benefits and what are the highlights of how astaxanthin yeah. optimizes our health. You know, you don't just want to live longer, right? And you want to live longer and, and feel better and be healthy throughout that lifespan. Certainly in the community of individuals that have been taking astaxanthin, there's been wide reports of improved joint and muscle function. And then if you transition, say, to, you know, brain health, cognitive health, astaxanthin actually crosses the blood-brain barrier. So it gets to the brain, gets into the cells. You know, you look at things like uh, skin health, eye health, um, again, the same story, reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, you know, in, in those locations has, has really important benefits. In terms of the, the sort of next steps for astaxanthin as a sort of a molecule of interest in longevity, um, you know, where do you see this going? I think astaxanthin will become part of the dialogue around longevity. And, you know, we think astaxanthin should be right there in that conversation and at the forefront of it because it has these profound uh, impacts on, on aging, uh, health span, lifespan. It's super safe. It's commercially available. You know, so it's accessible. There's a lot of astaxanthin on the market. How is this one different? The purity, the consistency, the bioavailability. Those are all the, the challenges uh, with the, with these products. No one has really created a conversation around astaxanthin, and, and so that's something that we're looking to do um, here. Is is actually. Um, you know, communicate the benefits of, of astaxanthin, you know, to the world. And the real difference is how you make it, how you deliver it. Uh, and so that's really where we distinguish ourselves.